Hi friends, this is Saluja here. Welcome to my networking channel. Hope all are doing good. And today let us discuss the DSCP server client issues. So due to some reason, the client is not getting the IP address from the DSCP server. This R1 or this R router I configured as a DSCP server. And these are both other clients, R2 and R3. There's a router I configured as a client which will get the IP address from the DSCP server. So due to some reason, there's a client server issue. So we need to fix the DSCP server client issues. So let us go to the DSCP server first and let us check the issue. So go to R1 which is configured as a DSCP server, right? So let us check the pool. Show IP DSCP pool. So this is a pool of address I configured 10.1 to 10.24. So that is a range. That means it will start from 10.1 to 10.24 IP address, right? So always in the DSCP server, there is another option, excluded address. So we have to check for the excluded address. Anything is excluded. And also another command is there, show IP DSCP binding. So binding will show the list of IP address that the service the server is leasing to the client. So if there is no IP address, the server has leased to the client. That means there should be an issue with the DSCP server. So how to fix it? So let us check for also the excluded address. Include excluded address. Yeah, there is an entire range of IP address has been excluded. That is the reason there is no IP in the pool to assign to the client. So first we have to remove this excluded range. So let us remove it. Go to the configuration mode. So no IP DSCP excluded address. This one you have to remove it. Right. So why I had excluded 10.1 and 10.2 is 10.1 I assigned to this corresponding interface and 10.2 is a DNS server. Let us check for the pool now. Go to show run. So this is the way you have to configure. So go to IP DSC pool. I have assigned pool 1 and network 10.0 to 25. That means it will assign from 10.1 to 10.24. And 10.2 and 10.1 why excluded is 10.1 is a default gateway and 10.2 is a DNS server. Least is 30 I have given. Right. This is the way you can configure the DSCP. And this interface I assign the 10.1 gateway. So due to the excluded range what happened the server is not leasing IP to the client. So now let us check the binding. Show IP DSCP binding. So still it is not getting giving the IP address to the client, right? So let us fix it from client and whether anything is missing. So let us go to R2 and let us check the command. Show run interface fast Ethernet 0 by 0. So there is one more command is pending. What is called IP address DSCP? So always in the client, we have to use an IP address DSCP only with that command, the client will get the IP address from the server. So let us configure it. Go to the configuration mode interface. IP address DHCP. So before that, let us run the packet capture, right? I think that's the best way we can troubleshoot. Go to start, click OK. And now let us start the packet capture, start the Wireshark. So now let us go to the R2, right? Go to R2, go to the configuration mode. So now let us filter by DHCP. So there is no DHCP discover packet. So now let us start assigning the IP address DSCP. So that is a command for getting the IP address from the DSCP server. Then let us do a no shut again. So we'll see now immediately it is sending the discover packet, right? DSC discover, then we'll send the offer, the server will send the offer, then we'll send a request, then acknowledgement. This is the way it will work. And let us also go to R3. R3 is a second client. Go to the configuration mode, interface faster than it, 0 by 0, IP address DSCP. Let us do a no shell. So now it will automatically start as assigning the IP address. We are able to see right, you have started assigning the IP address from the server. So let us go to R1 and let us check the binding. Show IP DSC binding. So both it is assigning IP address 10.6 and 10.7 to the client. That is the IP address you are able to see here. It is assigning 10.6 to the first client that is R2 and 10.7 to the third client that is R3, right? So this is the way you can troubleshoot any DSCP server client relationship. Always you have to check for any especially if they check for the pool, right? Any any excluded address. If there is any exclusion range, what happens? You have to the entire range of address will be excluded and there is no IP assigned to the client. That is the reason I remove the excluded list. Then automatically they got as the IP address got assigned to the client, right? So always uh, keep it in mind in the client we have to give the command IP address DSCP. So this is the way we have to configure the client server in GNS3. And this is the way we can, we can troubleshoot the server client issues, especially DSCP server client issue. So I hope you enjoy this video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more videos. Thanks and have a wonderful day.